<gasps> all right, all right, it's under control. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another video and welcome to the beautiful Daytona where we're going to be doing a European Sprint Series race. Yes, ESS, it's an hour long, so make sure you get your slippers on, get yourself a cup of tea, and sit down and chill out for a bit. Just relax. So we're doing it in the Ford. I can't remember how many times I've actually raced the Ford. Maybe two, three times, something like that. Not much anyway. But everybody is in Porsches, and of course, we're not going to drive the popular car, so we're in the Porsche, and we're driving as Mac, so it's Mac from the back. I want to see how far forward we can get by keeping a clean car, not getting into any stupid incidents, keeping it clean, trying to race smart and pit stopping at the right time. So if you do like this video at any point, please remember, click on the like button. And if you want to see more, then please consider subscribing to the channel. So one hour around Daytona Road, multi-class. So we've got LMP1s, LMP2s and GTEs. We're starting right at the back. Let's get on track. The air temp is 20 Celsius, 60 minutes. 60 minutes. Get a cup of tea, put your feet up. Sit back and relax. We need to follow car number 31 in the left lane. Watch me struggle around Daytona. Now, I've done a few of these this week. I quite like the combination. Probably the best track for multi-class racing, in my opinion. But we're driving the Ford. Everybody's in Porsche. Porsche is really strong. We've got Dylan Scrivens qualified P4 in the Ford, so it's obviously got pace in the right hands. These aren't the right hands, though. The last couple of races I've been banged into, suffered damage, and at the start of the race, when you get damage, it's a long, old, lonely race, I tell you. An hour, struggling for pace, just trying to salvage what you can. But we need safety rating. This week, it's all been all about safety rating for me. 1.9 we're on now. We started the week 1.2 on an A license. 1.9 now. So it's going in the right direction. So it's it's uh, not a full pace lap, thankfully, at Daytona. But at any point, if you do like the video, please remember to click on the like button. I appreciate that. Here we go. They're going. Right. Lap one's all about survival, keeping it on track. Trying to save as much fuel as we can on the first lap, because everybody's going to be bunched up, I guess. I've removed the steering wheel because it looks absolutely terrible. Um, with a fixed steering wheel, it looks shocking. All right, let's just back off here, see what happens. Turn one. Oh, blimey. It's two positions. Sweet start, mate. Keep it coming. It's all about keeping the car clean. We haven't got the quickest car. We don't have the most pace. But we're going to see what we can do as long as we keep the car clean without any damage. Makes a big difference to your average lap times throughout the race. This turn I've been struggling with. Ford feels awful around there. Right, we need to get past Christian because we're getting dropped by Joey and Bo. Not gonna get it done here though, so we'll just wait. Yellow flag. See if we can get it done into turn one somehow. Inside, outside, don't mind. As long as Christian plays ball, we should be alright. But we need to get by now. Side. 
Oh shit, he's still there. Clear left, E12. Left side. Clear left. Right, we needed that done. I think there's only two LMP1s in this race. Shed load of LMP2s, obviously. But there's only two LMP1s, I think. couple of cents out of Joey there but they've all got draft these guys so it's going to be it's going to be quite difficult we're going to have to get our finger out and put some couple of decent laps in to catch up need to be in the low 42s I think oh, I can see smoke Look at the gap, it's grown. Two and a half seconds now. Crikey. Come on, David. But when the LMP2s come round, that'll shake things up a little bit. So all is not lost. I'm sure they'll come back to us. Let's hope so, anyway. That lap was a 142.77. There's an incident in International Horseshoe. We can chop it down a bit on the twisty stuff, but on the straight when they've all got draft, we're kind of knackered. So 2.2 seconds going on to the oval. Let's see what that grows to by the time we cross the line. The gap behind is now 0.9. It's the bus stop we're struggling with as well. Two point six seconds, man. We're losing so much time through there. Put the delta on. Session best lap. Uh oh. There's an incident in Rip. Lucky ball. When the when the field separates a bit and they don't have draft, then we can see where we are and see if we can catch up. But whilst they've got draft, it's really really difficult to get anywhere. I said to be here. Okay, Dave. Our fuel window will open after 18 minutes. Closes yeah, the second gear is a little bit better, I think. Minutes. So we're up three. We just want to keep the car clean. We need to be going quicker than what we're doing. 42, 4, 8. Not quick enough. It's a little bit better. We slowed down a little bit earlier then going into the bus stop, I think. Maybe being a little bit too greedy into there. The gap's going to Joey in front. For your last lap 
time was at 142.72. See what happens. Yellow flag, caution. Here comes the first LMP1 anyway. Copy that. And the second one's coming up, hopefully he'll get us before turn one. Hmm, maybe not, maybe. No, I'm not sure. Yeah, it should do. Yeah, look at the closing speed there, crikey. That's good for us though, passing us on the oval. Hopefully they'll slow these guys down a bit. We'll need to be quite clever when we go in the pits now. If we can avoid a round of the LMP2s, that'd be ideal. Because there is, well, there are lots of them. It causes problems, so if we can get a lap without the LMP2s causing us issues, then that'll save us a bit of time. Could be two or three seconds easily per lap. Or if it's the full field almost. Alright Dave, don't let this guy distract you. Things are gonna happen though, no doubt. So in the last race I did, I was in the Ford, I got damage early on. And I was struggling to do a 1 minute 43 lap and the track temp was 29 degrees. It was a lot cooler. Clear right. Hold your line. Clear right, that's your fastest lap. Lap chance pretty Aww. consistent. As long as we don't get a 1x. Clear left. Right Christian, you must slow on the infield Christian. Well, he seemed it on the first couple of laps anyway. Maybe not. If he's not slower than us, then happy days. I'll sit behind him and save some fuel. slower than us he's maybe got pace if he has that's great for us I'll quite happily sacrifice one position to save quite a bit of fuel Porsches are so quick man oh 1x dang it
Right side's clear. Good move, mate. Don't mind to and throwing, using the slipstream to get us where we need to be, but I don't think it's going to happen. Yellow flag, caution. So a lap behind Christian and we're in the 43s. So half a second we lost kind of there behind Christian. It's all over you. Keep your exit speeds up, stay smooth. Oh smoke. What smoke? There's an incident in bus stop. It looks like it's pass. Okay Dave, the next car is pass. And we're getting Christopher's draft. On your right. Still there. He's still there. Clear right, B11. Right, so somebody went in the pits there, Gustav, crashed, must have been involving Christopher, I think. Christian dropped back a bit there for some reason. Yellow flag, watch out. Seconds. Nice to get Christian out of draft though. Pit window's not open for another two or three laps though, fortunately. No! Nope. Ah, oh, I knew it. Lazy on my part that was. We'll adjust the fuel. I'm going to set it to 35 litres just for now. We'll see where we are. Can't give you any more room, pal. Right. That's your quickest lap. Okay, Dave. Keep on under pressure. He'll make a mistake. Just caught up again now. Yellow flag, watch out. So the rest of the LMP2s are coming around now. Maybe going for a movie here, but I don't really fancy it when these guys are all coming through. Car right. Right side's clear. Car right. Clear right. On your right. Clear right. That lap was a 
Yeah. We both messed that up. Got a eyes in the back of your head, honestly. It's crazy. Got two more here. Let these two get through, and we'll see. Car right. And I've got another one that's not lapping us. P1. Look at the speed of that thing. Car right. Right side's clear. Alright Dave, lap times are pretty consistent. Sector 1 is 1.1 seconds off the pace. Sector 2 is 0.5 off the pace. Sector 3 times okay. Struggling to keep up with Christopher here though. Car right. Clear right. How much we're gonna put in fuel wise? Both might pass us before okay, turn Dave. one. I think the will still right stay out. That's half fuel. You've used half your fuel. Twenty one minutes gone. That was Joey. He's going to get us before the bus stop. Going to be close. Hopefully not. This is where it could all end. I'll take a one X to survive, I tell you. Christopher's did a 42 flat last time. We're going to be run about there, I think. That 
lap time was 141.93. That's your fastest lap today. There's a faster car approaching. We're getting a good tour off. Christopher, so I don't really want to go in the pits just yet. So fuel, based on the last lap, it says we're going to need about 31 litres. Have we saved a little bit, maybe? Might just go 35, just to be sure. Car left. Clear left. The gap to pass ahead is increasing. It's now 0.8. I think it would be crazy to go in just yet. Depends if these two are going to start. Battling hard or not. We need to catch up. That's what we need to do. Sector 2 is 0 0.43 off the pace. No, he's not having it. Excuse me. So, 25 minutes gone. Three, four incident points. Up four positions in the P11 right now. Struggling, I'm not going to lie. There's an incident in bus stop. It looks like pass. Not struggling as much as those guys, though. Right, if we can get a lap in with no draft, then at least we'll have an idea of where we need to be fuel-wise. We'll just work off the last fuel usage, last lap usage. E9, you've just done a 142.60. What we're not going to do is let those guys have our draft and save fuel behind us. And some big stutters for some reason. Well, we've kept the gap pretty constant back to Joey. Get a little bit of draft of this guy as well. The car in front is pitting. Car right. Right side's clear. Muller is getting 
closer. The gap is now 2.1. The lap times are pretty consistent. P8. What was it with that? It was bad. Right, how far back are the LMP2s for the next wave? Is the LMP1 coming through now? He'll get his before turn one. We're P8 right now, but a couple of people have been in the pits, I think. Likes his flashy lights, that fella. Could do with the relative showing four cars in front and behind, really. Just give us a, a little bit of an earlier warning when the LMP2s are coming. Thirty-two litres should be enough, I think. The answer to pull up behind is increasing. It's now two point five. Here's the second LMP two. Car behind a faster class. Hopefully he'll get his before turn one. He should do. Causing the speed's ridiculous. There he is. Loads of time there. Okay, Dave, ten minutes of fuel remaining. Benjamin, you are alone in your class. Fuck, wait, fuck. Uh oh. Doesn't sound good. I've been blocking him from the braking. It's not going to help anyone. So. I didn't, uh, be, uh, I didn't uh, understand exactly what did you say on the GT. It's difficult. A little bit of salt. Wouldn't be eye racing without a little bit of salt, would it?
So Dewey 1.6 now. Holy cow. Sectors 2 and 3 are 0.5 off the base. Sector 1 is 0.7 off the Right, Hugo, the leader of the LMP2s are coming up now, so we're going to pit this lap. It'll work out quite well for us, this. As long as we get in the pits without a penalty, of course. I didn't move then the other braking zone. Well, you break uh, around one, 100 meters too early. Box now. I'm going to put 35 leases in. Maybe even 36. So 36 litres, just to be sure that we've got enough, that should be fine. Should be fine. If needs be, we can save a little bit. Look at all these cars, though, that were going to come past us then during that lap. We've got a few, though. I mean, they're still going to come past us, probably at some point. But it wouldn't have been favourable where they were going to pass us. But us, we would have lost out massively. Might need to save a little bit. We'll see. Not yet. We'll wait. See if we get uh, placed behind somebody. If we do, then we can save. It's not a bad outlap. So a 205 in lap. 2053 in lap. In lap could have been a bit quicker. I was just adjusting the fuel at the same time. And a 154 outlap.
We need to be in the low 42s, definitely. Otherwise, we've got no chance. Right. Is the LMP2s. Might just have delayed it for a couple of laps, but... So it goes here. Much better lap this one. This could be a sub 42 with no draft. Half a second. There's a few coming in the pits now. So 40 minutes in. Minutes if these guys have been in the pitch yet behind. The Joey Mull is in the pits there. And we're going to get a position there. Okay, Dave. There's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. P10. Blue flag. We'll pass Christopher. There's a faster car approaching. Car right. He's still there. Right side's clear. The leader is pitting now. Morales is now leading pass. It's closing you down. The gap has come down to 4.9. What? Were we in front of Christopher? I can't remember now who we were battling with earlier on. right. Clear right. Can't remember now who it was. up to Frank, seven seconds, mm, bit of an ask that is quite quick. P9. Might need to save though. I just thought about the fuel there for a, a second or two. I need to do a couple of laps of consciously staying off the gas until I have to go back on it. Yeah, we need to do better than 3.1 litres per lap. The leader, Morales, is pitting.
Uh, based on the last lap, it's saying we're going to finish now with 1.8 litres left, so we might not need to save. Alvaro, give me a draft. Henry's in the pits now. Henry Salo. We're going to pass him. Double chances here. Let's make sure we can take him. Eighth place. There's a group of faster cars behind. On your right. Car right. Think about Christopher now behind. Again, the fuel calculator's changed now. Pass. It's getting closer. The gap's come down to 3.6. OK, Dave. 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. Blue flag. Pass the car behind. P8 right now, blimey. You've just done a 142.87. Good consistency, keep them coming. Car left, clear left. And it's changed again. Crikey, come on, field calculator, make your mind up. I'm nervous. Blue flag. It's a faster class car behind. Christopher's catching though. Oh, I thought that was going to be a 1x. Not a bad lap this one. Got Frank down to 6.7 seconds. Daniel, why you can see the space, please? Thank you, Daniel. Okay, good job, Benjamin. I'm going to report it. Doesn't sound good, does it? Yeah, 
And let me know if I move it at the braking zone. Just chill out. Chill out, Adrian. Don't get worked up about I racing. I don't. Much. Bad. Crikey. Oh. All right, Dave. There's a faster class car approaching. So, eleven and a half minutes left. Bit of a lonely race, this one, though. Clear right. We needed to get in the pits early to get out of traffic. Under three seconds. It was briefly. So Henry obviously got a penalty in the pits. Time spent in the pits 84 seconds. Limey, yeah, so hold for 40 seconds for speeding. I'll take that though. Michael. Car right. Thank Keep you, Michael. Right. See, that's a guy who knows where he's in the race. Miles behind the guy in front. Doesn't want to do anything stupid. Lost his minimal time. Look at the gap to Christopher now though. Holy cow. Two bad laps. He's 2.5 seconds back. We don't get any more, we should still gain safety rating, I think. on to this. I'll be well happy with P8 though.
What's the gap now? 2.5. The same as what it was last time by. We did a 42 and a half last time. It's be oh, low 40s. High 41s to hold him off, I think. Do what you're going to do. I think it's just quicker in a straight line and through the bus stop. Everywhere else, I think, don't feel too bad. Where we need to be, though, lap time wise. That was a 142.01. Pass behind is now 2.7. 2 2.6 now. We'll gain a tenth from last lap. He's had a shocker of a lap this one. I think it was the first sector. I think he made a couple of mistakes on this lap. Okay, Dave. Relax. Focus. Keep it smooth. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. Oh. At least it wasn't a slowdown. Could have been. Could so easily have been a slowdown there. Just needs to just calm down on entry, she said. Just on the entrance of the bus stop, I just need to relax. Just get a bit greedy, a bit desperate. Sector 1 is 0 0.43 off the pace. Oh, he's dropped right back now. Takes the pressure off us a little bit. As fast the cars approaching, the group includes the class leader. work this mentally draining definitely not a track for safety rating though on your right right side's clear that last lap was a 141.92 Behind's come down a bit again. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Incident in turn six.
So the next lap should be the last one, hopefully. Maybe two. If we're unlucky. Nah, last lap, next one. Last lap then. One more lap to go. Very little fuel left. Yeah, Marcel, Marcel. He's not very happy choppy, is he? It's under control. All under control. Trust me. You know what I'm doing. So it just goes to show you don't have to have blistering pace to make up quite a few positions in races like these. We're obviously off pace in this race, but by keeping the car clean and pitting early, getting out of that traffic, I think it's benefited us massively. And obviously Henry got a penalty. But fingers crossed, safety racing gain and an I rating gain, that'd be nice. But I'll take that though. P8. Eighth place. Well done, mate. Good finish. I will take that. Thank you very much. Good pressure from Christopher though. He didn't let, let up at all. Right, let's have a look at the carnage. Okay then, let's have a look at the carnage. We didn't see too much. But no doubt there will be quite a bit. There we go, turn one, lap one. Get out my way, so he says. Oh man, with a bent wing, his car's gonna be so off pace. Man, lap one, it's soul destroying. Oh, here's another one. There you go. Get out of town. And another one. Good night, Vienna. Oh! What's his car done? Oh, crikey. What's, is he slowing down on purpose there, do you think? I think he is. I think he was. That was a bit naughty. Very naughty. Oh, what's going to happen with this guy? Oh, no. Thankfully, he got taken out as well. Presume they're teammates. Maybe, maybe not. No, they're not. They just look very similar. Did we see this guy? I think we did, didn't we? <laughs> and he's stuck in the barrier. Oh, no. That deserves a rage quit, doesn't it? Uh-oh. Nice. Nice. 
<laughs> oh dear. That's the guy that got punted at the beginning, isn't it, I think? Turned into a turtle. Oh dear me. That move wasn't on. Dear me. Is this car alright? It looks okay, doesn't it? No, it isn't okay. Oh, it's not getting that stopped. What about the rejoin? Looks like it's taking its time, that's good. Oh, 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 oh. Oh yes, that was the guys that we were behind, wasn't it? So we waited for him there. That's good to see, though. That's good to see. Top man, top man. Is he just going to blink? Nothing going on there. Oh, the gap's closing. Oh my word. Could have been so much worse. Don't you just hate it when that happens? You know it's understeering off the track. You can't do a thing about it. It's horrible. Uh oh. Oh dear. Who hasn't done that though? What is he doing? What is he doing? What was he doing? Says him right. Oh, full lock on. Can't get that stopped. Wow. That's a paint. That's a wall. It's a dead car. Still a dead car. And this must be the end. Is he going for an engine blowout? He is. Where's he going? And that's it. Right, let's have a look at the results. So, there were only two splits. Participation has been really low this week. Uh, this was top split though. Strength of field combined, 3,265. So, we gained a massive chunk of safety rating there. Man, we were down at 1.2 at the start of the week. Now we're at 2.51. Happy days. And a cheeky little I rating gain there. Job's a good one. So, we finished P8 in class. Fastest lap of 41.7, so that's good for me, that. That's quick for me. Uh, Andrea got the win in the LMP1. Hugo got the win in the P2. And Adrian got the win in the GTEs. Who was the biggest winner? This is going to take some going through here. So we've got a 57. I've got a 76 there from Alvaro. So we've got a 76. I think that's the biggest winner. It is. So Alvaro... Soblechero, he got 76. He's the biggest winner. And the biggest loser is Ross Woodford. He lost 123. So there we go, P8. Nice big safety rating gain. So the A license is safe just for now. And a cheeky little I rating gain just to top things off. Quite a good race. I quite enjoyed it. We did have to pit early, so it was quite lonely. Maybe a bit boring, but we needed to do what we needed to do to get out of traffic. So if you did like the video, please remember click on the like button. And if you want to see more of them, please consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good week. See you later. Cheers.